In this and the following videos, we justify that the languages recognized by Quizda and Automata are the same as the languages generated by Grammars. We will also see that the languages recognized by Single Acceptance Quizda and Automata are the same as the languages generated by unambiguous grammars. Justifications would not be exhaustive, but we will give enough information to complete a form of proof. We start justifying how to convert a CVG to a PDA recognizing the same language. We will see it with an illustrative example. This grammar generates a language of well parenthesized words, where we use A as opening parenthesis and B as closing parenthesis. This is the Quizdown Automaton automatically obtained from the grammar. Regardless of the grammar, it has three states. These two transitions will also be needed, regardless of the grammar. Note that we have assumed that S is the grammar's starting symbol. The only part of the PDA dependent on the grammar are these transitions. For each rule in the grammar, we will have a lambda transition, with its condition including the variable in the left-hand side of the rule and its action writing the right-hand side of the rule, but reverse it such that the first word of the right-hand side of the rule is at the stack stop. This other transition corresponds to the grammar's lambda rule. Besides the transitions related to the rules, we also have transitions corresponding to each terminal symbol of the grammar. These transitions check if we have a symbol at the stack stop matching the symbol in the input, and if it is so, they delete the stack stop symbol. And that's all. This is the PDA recognizing the language generated by the grammar. Let's try to convince ourselves of that. Let's use as example this derivation with the grammar. It is not any derivation. It is what is called a left derivation. A left derivation is a derivation where, at each step, the rewritten variable is the one that can be found leftmost in the world. Note that this derivation meets this definition. Any word generated with a grammar can be generated by a left derivation. It is as easy as taking any derivation and properly ordering the rules until it becomes a left derivation. Moreover, with unambiguous grammars, as in our example, there exists one single left derivation for each word. This is so because since it is unambiguous, there exists one unique derivation tree for each word, and only one left derivation corresponds to a tree. Let's see how the PDA recognizes this word by simulating the corresponding left derivation. This is the initial configuration with Z0 at the stack's bottom, and the automaton in the initial state. We begin executing this transition and we reach this configuration. In order to make the explanation of the simulation clearer, we will write the contents of the stacks reversed, such that the leftmost symbol is the stack stop symbol. Note that at the top we can find S, which corresponds to the beginning of the derivation. We want to simulate that we apply this rule. We can do so by applying this transition and thus the contents of the stack becomes this one. Now we want to simulate this derivation step replacing S by this, but we cannot do so because the stack stop symbol is an A. Instead, we check that this generated A matches the first element in the input by using this transition. In doing so, we are checking on the fly that the word generated this far by simulating the grammar actually matches the input word. Now we can simulate this derivation step, and using this transition we replace again S by ASBS. Here we check again that the A matches the next input symbol. Now we simulate this derivation step which replaces S with the empty word. We use this transition. And following this procedure, we will simulate all the derivation. In the end, once we have generated a terminal word and we have checked that it matches the input word, we find again the stack's bottom symbol and we can finally execute this transition in order to accept the input word. Summarizing, this automaton can simulate any left derivation of the grammar while at the same time it checks that the generated word matches the input. Therefore, it is easy to see that it recognizes the language generated with the grammar. Moreover, in the case where the grammar is unambiguous, the automaton is a single acceptance automaton because, for each input word, there exists one unique left derivation generating it, and therefore there will only be one accepting run simulating this specific derivation. It remains to be seen the opposite justification, that is, given a PDA, how to construct a CVG that generates the language recognized by the PDA.